is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. Welcome back to my channel. We are here for another one of our countdown to Christmas in our Shop Your Stash for the 12 Days of Christmas um, series that I have been doing. And what I'm going to do today is again we're going to use napkins. Um, so I've brought along some napkins here. And I want to do something that I saw on Gail Agostinelli's channel. I have to say it was a really long time ago. It might have been a couple of years ago. Um, and it's just been sat in my favourites with me wanting to try it out and it's taken me this long, so I'm just going to move my camera slightly, this long to actually finally come along and do it. But she made some crunchy tags using um, napkins and greaseproof paper. So I have got here oops, some greaseproof paper here. I've got my napkins and I've got my bases for my tags. I've also got this grease proof paper which I used um, when I did my Christmas project. So I might do one or two in this as well. Now, this is quite a waxy paper so I'm not entirely sure which is going to be the better side to actually use this. Yeah, I'm thinking this side. So, right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some tag shapes from my... Um, card now this is just that five by seven card it's the card that i get when i buy the packs for the envelopes you know like the card making packs um i i really like the five by seven size so i buy those card making packs really predominantly for the envelopes but of course you get a bonus because you get the card as well which of course you can come along and use for other things so i'm going to try not to be too over ambitious let's face it i'm probably not going to make more than four so uh, it's probably not even made for so i'm just going to cut them down obviously as you can see i'm you know just uh winging it here with the size they're getting bigger and bigger as i go across but that's fine i like a big tag so that's all good from from my perspective um and then what i'm going to do i'm just going to cut my ends my you know my triangles for my corners which actually I might come a bit unstuck if I try and do them in bulk so yeah let's just go across like that okay now this tag actually I have to say has turned out a little bit skinny tall and skinny so I might have to cut this one down slightly in the length just because I think actually it's a bit a bit long and skinny so yeah there's that one oops next one And obviously, as they get fatter, <laughs> where I cut them, then I don't really need to cut them down because they're not kind of short, stumpy ones. They're, you know, they're normal size tags now. If there is such a thing as normal size tags. So, yeah, just take my corners across to get my, my corners sort of similar sizes. Again, that one looks a little bit sort of tall and skinny, so I'll just chop that down a bit in the length. And then we'll just do this one here like that okay and again just going to chop that down slightly Oops. honestly my cutting has been dreadful today absolutely dreadful now what Gail Agostinelli did was she took her greaseproof paper and she then cut it to the size of her tags now I have to say I'm not so brilliant um, with my sewing machine so what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to cut it like this so it's small enough to go through my sewing machine without being cumbersome and then I'm going to cut it round to the tag size afterwards if you see what I mean just because for me that's going to be an easier technique than trying to actually you know have it exactly the right size and in exactly the right place on the sewing machine because I will struggle with that so there we go and this one just here oh you know what I've done don't you didn't do any on my my uh, red and white so what a wally just that second showed it and no sooner had I showed it than I just totally forgot so let me just cut one more tag and we'll do just like one one red and white stripe one can't believe I literally I had only just shown it do you know what I mean and then just no sooner had I shown it, then I just totally forgot, forgot what I was doing. It's because it was just sat in my lap and um, yeah, just, just totally forgot. 
So these are the five by seven card blanks and obviously I've just coffee dyed them so far so that I've got, you know, a bit of coloration on them. So again, I'm going to just cut this down so it's, you know, just a bit less cumbersome to put through the printer like that. Okie dokie, right. Now, what Gail did, she made little triangular pockets to put as corner pockets on her tags. So obviously, you know, this has been inspired by Gail and, you know, I'm going to try and do it kind of similarly to her. Now, I'm not sure whether these are going to be, do we think they're going to be big enough? I'm not sure. Let me just cut this in half. Like that. And then let's just go like that. That would be oh yeah I don't think that's too bad actually I thought that was going to be really awful but actually it looks okay so again just going to cut then my grease proof paper pieces just approximately you know just approximately to go on them okay and this one just going to cut this one down a bit like that. Then just take a bit of the greaseproof paper. Okay. And then the last one here. So yeah. Now oh, this this is the greaseproof paper that I used for the beeswax. So I have to say it's a little bit on the messy side. Um yeah, I'm hoping that that's not going to really matter too much. Let's just take that down like that. Okay, right, I'm going to take all of these to my sewing machine. Now, I'm probably not going to take you guys with me to my sewing machine. I'm just going to literally go and stitch around and I'm not gluing these in place at all. I'm just going to wing in a prayer, try and actually glue these down like that. So I will be back. Right, I'm back from the sewing machine. So obviously I've got my tags now, which as you can see, have got the kind of, um, you know, overlapping, uh, greaseproof paper I mean for me this is just a much easier method than trying to line up a tag shaped piece of greaseproof paper with a tag tag shaped tag <laughs> if you see what I mean you know it's just easier for me to just go around now I can just trim the edges down and that way I know that they're obviously you know matching and the same size so you know but like I say I definitely um Gail did not you know did not do it like that so uh you know she obviously is a lot better with her sewing machine and you know keeping things together than I am um when she's at her sewing machine so yeah but for me this is definitely way 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 easier so I'm just going to trim them up now I'll spare you trimming them all because you know I might not actually have time to do tons of these but the reason why she has left these so I'm doing this as per her you know per her tutorial so the reason why she left them baggy if you see what I mean the greaseproof paper is baggy on there like this is for the crunch obviously if I had kind of glued this all down all over them they wouldn't now have that crunchy kind of texture because of course that would be lost under the glue if you see what I mean so in her tutorial, she did try both ways, um, you know, which, and the both ways were perfectly fine. But I think, you know, she kind of did say, you know, for the crunch, you want to kind of leave it with air, as she described it, with air underneath. And I guess that's the point, isn't it? You need the air in between the, you know, the um, greaseproof paper and the card. That's what's going to give you the crunch. If you close that air gap, then of course that paper's not really got anything to crunch against, has it? So, you know, just kind of judge it by, um, you know, how, how you fancy doing it. So I've got my corners, and again, I did them exactly the same technique, you know, just leaving them bigger than the pieces, if you see what I mean, leaving the greaseproof paper bigger than the pieces so that then they were going to be easier to stitch around on the sewing machine. Now, what I did was the first one, I think the first one, I was about to sew round the entire thing. And then I thought, well, actually, I don't need to sew round the entire thing. I only needed to sew, actually, the... And to be honest, I probably shouldn't have cut that edge off. I should probably just cut this edge off. Because, again, exactly the same thing. You're going to put this down 
on here and then you're going to stitch it onto the tag anyway so to be honest you don't actually need to kind of then waste time sewing it because it's going to be stitched then for a second time if you see what i mean so going on that basis i'm thinking we don't need to cut this section off we could uh, you know attach it to the tag and then stitch it although oh i don't know actually no i think actually for these i'm going to stitch or i'm going to cut them down purely because otherwise i might find it a bit of a struggle to see you know that they're going next to the the tag if that makes sense i know this is very waffly but you know obviously i haven't made these before and it's always a bit nerve-wracking when you're following somebody else's kind of tutorial because you're trying to kind of remember why or what they did and then you know you're wanting to kind of you know do justice to what they've done really so that is my tags like that so let's just get one more corner again just stitch that across here and around like that. Okie dokie, right. So, and just, just snip off the last little bits of thread. Okay, right, all looking good there. Now, also, I think Gail had, um, you know, oven baked her uh, greaseproof paper and coffee dyed it. Now, I haven't done that. I am purely using the overspill from when we did the greaseproof napkins the other day. So, yeah, mine are kind of... Um, you know, naked grease proof paper, if you see what I mean. Well, naked as in not baked, not naked as in they have been, what do you call it? Uh, what am I trying to say here? <laughs> They've been waxed. So in fact, probably actually less naked to be honest than Gail's, but anyway, I digress. I was getting carried away with um, which napkins were naked and which ones weren't so yeah completely not not necessary to do any of that stuff right so this one i thought would look gorgeous on here it just looks so pretty doesn't it so i'm just going to do that kind of tactic or technique of trying to separate the layers now i'm never very good at this so fingers crossed okay just tear those layers off I hope everyone's having a good day. Hopefully you are getting some crafts done, having a nice time. Have you been inspired to shop your stash this Christmas? Saving yourself some money and, yep, crafting along and using some of the things that perhaps you've either, you know, not used for a while, maybe not even used ever, because we've all probably got things like that in our stash, haven't we, that we've bought and then never used. A bit like clothes that we've bought and never worn. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we've all got those kinds of things, haven't we? So, yeah, this one. Now, I was going to put it low down. The only thing is I don't want it to be completely covered by my pocket. So I'm wondering whether actually I should have it a bit higher. Maybe tear those flowers off to put on the pocket. Oh, that pocket should probably go there, shouldn't it? Otherwise, the stripes, stripes going the other way. So, yeah, let's do that. I'm just going to tear this down here. Oops. Like that. Okay. Now, personally, I mean, I don't mind if they're a little bit, um, you know, scrappily done, and kind of have bits of the napkin missing and bits not. If you if you know what I mean, I think that's quite nice and all adds to the the charm of them. Um, but yeah, you might be watching this in horror, thinking, oh my goodness, what's she doing to those napkins? Right. Let's get this one. So, yeah, thinking, okay, right, let me just cut this down a bit. Like that, okay. Oops, must be careful, I'm going to uh, knock this flying everywhere, so, and then I'll find I've lost my napkin pieces. So yeah, this one here, again, just going to use that technique for splitting the napkin, like that, and that one, 
Okay. Oops. Oh, come on. Right, and... Oh, I don't know now. I think I want to have just more bird and not really have all those flowers actually. So yeah, just kind of uh, tearing around this. Now I have seen people do that where they wet a brush or use one of those wet kind of pens, um, you know, to tear the napkin out. Perhaps I should have done that. Oh my goodness! Now that I've just torn his torn his tail off. Uh, oh, now I'm thinking this looks awful. Perhaps I should just have. Perhaps I'll have it like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to just have kind of bits of the napkin, I think, placed around. Mm, I don't know. I'll just bring in another bit. Yeah, okay, so let's just separate this one out. Okay. Okay. Have you noticed how I've downsized even from the four? Just doing like three now. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to do this and then I will trim this up afterwards, I think. So yeah, let's just put this to one side. Oh dear, like that. Okay, last one. So let me just fold that napkin back up so as it goes neatly back in the drawer. Right, this is the last one. Such nice napkins, aren't they? Um, okay. You know, the trickiest part is because you're wanting to get all of the napkin in and of course you can't fit all the napkin in. So then it's like, oh, which which portion do I really especially want? You know, because it's all really lovely. Okay, and this, oops, okay. and down right, let's just oh, to this piece oh my goodness oh my goodness right and I'm just going to tear this here just because I don't want that sort of square edge so well not square edge but straight straight edge now I have got a straight edge at the bottom but bearing in mind, a lot of my corner is going to go over there. So I just want to see kind of, you know, how much I need to get rid of. So as I don't have a straight edge. Okay. Like that. Okay, so that looks perfectly fine, doesn't it? And then... Oh. Now, which other section am I going to use is the question. Might have to do the same part again, I think. So, yeah, I think kind of it's got like different kind of quarters. And you know what? I should use this actually. I'll just cut that down. Okay. Okay, right, let's get this off. Break those out. Oh, I love those colours, aren't they? Lovely. They look scrumptiously don't they? Yep. Okay, right. So I've just got my Mod Podge here and I've got a paintbrush. Oh, I will have in a moment. So, yeah, I'm just going to Mod Podge these down onto, onto the grease proof paper. Now, Oh, this is going to be a bit tricky. Um, okay, so I'm just going to paste it all over here. Okay. Oh, you know what I haven't got? I haven't bought my acetate. Oh, might, might have to get my acetate. Because in a minute, I'm going to have napkins stuck all over me and then I'll be tearing the napkins. So hold on two seconds. 
me. Oh, I just feel so much more comfortable, um, you know, squishing it down with the, the acetate because honestly, the less contact I have with those napkins, the better, to be perfectly honest. It's always kind of a bit of a risky, risky thing having contact with the with the napkin I find oops and then yeah let's just have this along here again just squish that in with the acetate and I mean this acetate as you can see I mean this is acetate that I have used previously with napkins so I mean it doesn't you know it doesn't matter if it's kind of old whoops old acetate that you've used with other projects. Oh, now I've lost that other bit of napkin, would you believe? Oh, I think that's the piece. Yeah, it, it just floated, floated down. Right. Okay. And then I'm just going to put this one on there actually whilst I've got the the Mod Podge, and then I can acetate, squish, squish the whole lot with the acetate if you see what I mean. So yeah, let's get my my acetate there. Okay. Yep. Paste that down, and then my pocket. So again. You know, I'm just going to paste over the pocket and then exactly like I did on the other one, put the napkin on, squish it with the whoops, with the acetate and then hopefully trim it down. So squish that like that. Okay. Like that. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. Don't know where that came from. Right, last one. So let me just give my table a little bit of a wipe. Okay, this one's going to be my favourite. I love how this looks already. I've been hoarding these napkins because um, they were sent to me in a happy mail, but there's only one, one of these. And isn't it just gorgeous? Obviously, it's got four sides. So I've got this image, you know, four times, if you know what I mean. But... Yeah, I've been kind of hoarding it because um, how gorgeous is this? It's quite Christmassy, I think. Now, do I want that going like that? Yeah, I think I do. I think I do. So, again, just, you know, exactly as we, as we have with the others. Oh, we're just going to paste this down. Stick it down like that. Okay, and then... I just feel so much more confident when I do it with the acetate, to be honest. Um, you know, I can press it really quite hard. I don't have to be worried that I'm, um, you know, going to damage it or anything. It's it's just much easier for me. And I'm not saying that that's for everybody, but for me, definitely, that's, um, yeah, just makes life a lot easier. Um, not my idea. I think I first saw Sagita over at Sagita's Coffee Stones. I think she was the pers person I saw doing it first. Um, so I'm definitely, definitely not claiming that to be my idea. Um, but it's absolutely fantastic. Really very helpful. Right. Now, I don't even need to really trim that down because I can trim that down after the sewing machine. Um, yeah. In fact, I can trim them all down after the sewing machine, I think. Actually, I might trim this song down because I can't really see where it is. And obviously I do need to trim along this edge anyway, because otherwise I'm not really going to see or be able to get to it once it's, whoops, once it's stitched on. So yeah, kind of complete backtrack there as to whether or not it does need trimming or doesn't need trimming. Okay. Okay, right, so I'm going to take these back across to the sewing machine and stick those um, pockets on. Before I do that, however, I just want to stick a couple of pieces on that I'm going to stitch then on the sewing machine. And they're probably going to be on the pockets, I'm thinking. Um, and the reason that I'm doing that is just because 
you know, obviously I'm using the greaseproof paper, so things don't necessarily always stick fantastically well. So I'm thinking kind of use the sewing machine to make sure that things are really stuck, you know, really well. So, for instance, we could have that gorgeous little flower. Now, I have got some butterflies. Let me do it. Have a look. Oh, where are my butterflies? That's the question. As usual, you know, you've got everything, everything here except the one thing that, of course, it would be really helpful. So, let's just have a quick, quick look through my butterfly box beside me. Oops. I don't know why I've got that little tiny bit. And that's really going to be very helpful for anything. Um, got that butterfly. Mm. Mm, that might be quite nice on there. Right, I'm just going to pull out a couple that I think, oh, they might be okay. Um, these are not really the butterflies that I had in mind, I've got to say. Um, I would have preferred my my bright butterflies but you know that's fine I'm just going to go with what I've got here because you know that's fine let's just yeah put these away okay so I'm just going to ink these up a bit so this one I just need to cut this section out so these are from I think the freebie butterflies that are available on my website so over at shabbywdr.co.uk so if you wanted to grab them if you haven't grabbed a set then you know head over there they are free okay what do we think to that butterfly on there I mean I'm not saying it's brilliant Think, what do we think? Just going to ink this one up. I know this is really not the right colours at all, but just in case when it's inked up, it might go the right colours. Because, you know, the ink is clever stuff, isn't it, after all? Hmm. Let me just try this on here. What if... That's better, isn't it? Yeah, that is much better. So before I glue this or stitch this down, I'm just going to ink across this edge as well. Okay. Yeah, I think that looks quite nice, doesn't it? I mean, actually, I have to say, I probably prefer it up there, but do I? No, maybe I don't. Okay, so I'm going to have that one on there, right? Let's put that in my lap, ready to go to the sewing machine. Okie dokie. So again, just going to ink across. Oops, just need to, again, trim this down on that edge. Ink across that edge there. Okay. Now, which butterfly do we like the look of on this one? I mean, weirdly, actually, this is quite nice. I know it's a little bit contrasty, but, you know, sometimes contrast is good, isn't it? So, did I ink this already? I can't remember whether I did or not. Oops. There goes some sirens outside. I like that. What do you think? Oh, that's lovely to the side. Gorgeous. Right, so... Again, just need to try and remember how I'm thinking that would look nice. Okay, right. Last one. So again, just ink across here. We could even have a label on here. You know, these labels just happen to be here, but they're not a bad colour, are they? Either of them, actually. They both look fine. So let's just have a look. It's quite nice, isn't it? Go for that. Okay. And I'm just gluing that on there, but I will probably stitch over that as well. So let's see. Okay.
Or do I want this somewhere around the tag? Maybe somewhere around the tag on this one. Okay, right, I will be back in a moment. Hold on. Okay, I'm back from the sewing machine. So this is how they look. I have to say, absolutely love them so much. They just look so, so, so pretty, don't they? So I'm just going to finish them off now. And I thought what we'd do, we'd go around the edges. Now, I've got to be honest, I was going to go around the edges with my, what do you call it? Uh, you know, walnut stain. But now I'm thinking, go around the edges with my peeled paint. Because that's going to look really cool I think on there so oh I hope it is anyway let's, let's hope I don't just uh, misjudge this <laughs> so yeah let's just fill in an ink pad oh I've got one that I've used with similar colors oh not really uh, oh well mm, that doesn't look a similar color at all does it right time I have a new ink pad on there I think because my gosh that looks pretty awful uh let me just grab out a new ink pad I'll just stand beside me Okay, right, let's go for this. Oh, I hope this um, ink sticks on the uh, wax proof paper, actually. I didn't even give that any thought. Oh, it's not, look. Oh, it's, it's sticking a bit. Oh, for some reason it's sticking there. Oh, do you know what? I bet you that that's where the um, wax surface is. I don't know whether it's sticking on the wax surface or not on the wax surface, but definitely the wax part is, yeah making a difference isn't it well like one of them is waxed and one of them's not whichever is or isn't is making it stick or not if that makes sense so yes let's let's go around the back now just so it's matching the front okay oh I love how that looks that's so scrumptious isn't it and then I'm going to just punch a hole of the crocodile that. Okay. Oh, come on. And I think I'd best put an eyelet in because obviously that greaseproof paper could well tear. Because obviously it's not, you know, it's not glued on, is it? I don't want it to tear on there. So, oh gosh. And I would like to have an antique bronze or a gold one. They all look like they're silver. Silver or purple, weirdly enough. Let's try that. Okay. Oops. Okay. I'll get that eyelet out. Oh no, it's like stuck in there. Um, right, let me just get my pokey tool. Hold on a second. Oh dear. Nothing's ever as straightforward as you think, is it? Hold on a minute. Let me just poke this out. Okay, right. Yep. Oh, I love that now. Just even with just the eyelet, to be honest, it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Doesn't even need anything else. Just looks scrummy with just the eyelet there. Okay, let's just squish that. Squish that down. Right, okay. Yeah, I mean, I love that just even with the eyelet. But I have got some sari silk with me. So I ordered some sari silk recently. I had never ordered sari silk before, would you believe? But yeah, I thought it was high time I got with the program and um, bought some. So yeah, I treated myself to a bunch of different colors. So, right, I want to tie this in a bow. Let's hope I've, let's hope I've got enough here to do that. I'm trying to be frugal with it, although I have got a lot. I can't remember how much came in the length, but quite a bit. So I don't really need to be as stingy as I'm trying to be. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, just how much do I think I'm going to be using here? Okay. Oh, loving that. That is scrumptious, I have to say. Oh, I love how that looks. Right, let me just get rid of those couple of bits there. Um, okay, a thread. Thread there from the sari silk thread here from the stitching. Okay, right, I'm just going to put a dab of hot glue in there just to hold that in place and, you know, subsequently, hopefully, hold that bow done up, if you know what I mean. So, like that. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous, isn't it? Right, and again, just going to put a little dab of glue there and a little bit the other side as well because that butterfly is only stitched on there. 
so it felt like it was a little bit fragile. Oh my goodness, I love how that tag looks. That is gorgeous and scrumptious, isn't it? Absolutely love that. Right, okay. Now for the next one. So let's put the lid on here. Now, oh, do we want to go for the same sort of concept where we put some blue on there? What do we think? Oh, actually, I don't think we do. I think this one, we will brown this up. So yeah, let's, let's brown this up with our walnut stain. So again, we've got the same thing going on. I think it's picking up where the wax is rather than where the wax isn't, if that makes sense. So um, yeah, but I mean, I quite like how it's looking quite patchy, to be honest. I think that's really nice. Now, this one, as you can see, I just clamped some lace in between the pockets as well when I stitched it on there. So I thought that was quite nice to have a bit, you know, a bit of extra sort of something going on. Let me just glue this butterfly down as well because exactly the same thing, you know, it's just held there from the, you know, the one stitch going through, which just feels a bit like a vulnerable point. Now I've got one of those tassels which I bought recently from Amazon and I also bought these awesome little fun um, price tag things. Goodness knows what I think I'm going to be doing with this but I thought wow let's let's play around with those. Let's just see what we can do with these. So yeah I'm kind of thinking now what am I thinking? Uh, hmm quite like to have the price tag wrapped around the tassel somehow I think so these have got like a little adhesive piece here which just attaches them so I can just put that straight around and then just like that oh gosh she says as she drops it okay right now I'm going to have to do a backwards operation <laughs> oh poke this back through there oh my goodness this is why I just don't do anything fiddly, because this is not like rocket science at all, but my goodness, it's proven too much for me, obviously. Yeah, so something here. Now, what there is the question? Um, I mean, we could just go for just some, you know, some of this coffee dyed card. I know this sounds really boring, but... Bear with me. Bear with me. I'm thinking, you know, boring might just be what we need here. So let's just cut that down. Oops. Just to make some sort of tab here. Okay. Well, it looks quite wide, doesn't it? Right, let me squish this. Squish this with my scissors. Oops. That's um, things ending or watching or something on eBay. Something eBay-ish. Hold on a second. Oh, so sorry about that. Right, okay. And let's just quickly um, punch out my corners. Okay. Oops, one, two. Okie dokie, get rid of those. Well, I hope this is going to look all right. I'm not entirely sure yet what I'm actually doing here. <laughs> but we're doing something. It's just not quite come to me yet what it is we're doing. Okay, right. Just go around there. So, what I was thinking is somehow clamp this tassel and thingamajiggly in there. That's not really working, is it? So, yeah, let me just have another think. What if we have a... Right, let's put this on there first. So, yeah, it's going to be like a kind of multi-step multi operation, hopefully. Oh, gosh, I really hope that this is going to look okay. You know when you want to do something, but you're not quite sure how you're going to achieve it? It's that. What's going on here? Okay, squish that down. Okay. Like that. Okay. 
and then I'm going to put an eyelet where do we want to have the eyelet is the question I mean if I have it in the center that's just really weird isn't it I'm now thinking oh, oh I don't know now now I'm thinking maybe I've marked it up by even having that there oh do you know what I'm thinking actually it looks really nice there I know that's a little bit on the weird side but hey I quite like how that looks there just coming off of that butterfly what do we think I love that right let me get my stapler oh this is a complete u-turn I mean I, like I say I didn't really have a kind of oh must must do this or going to achieve this like this but yeah this is definitely not what I thought I was going to be doing but how gorgeous does that look I love how that looks yeah really 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 love how that looks now obviously I haven't really got anything up here now which probably looks a bit rubbish um let me just get rid of that sorry silk out the way oh okay that's way uh so maybe just a word or something up there now this has got that loop again I don't mind that loop if it bothers me I can tuck it into the pocket um I'm loath to cut it off in case it then makes this slip out of the staples I mean it's not going to make it slip out of them obviously but you know what I mean let's put here inspired yeah Okay, just going to pop that there, like that. Oh, how gorgeous does that look? I love how that looks. That is so, so, so pretty, isn't it? I love how that looks. That tassel just hanging off there at the side. I mean, I know it's a bit weird, but oh, just kind of makes that tag, doesn't it? Really finishes it off just beautifully. I mean, I guess what I could do is like back it over and staple it back down like that. What do we think? I mean, weirdly, I don't mind it really as, as a loop. Um, but perhaps, perhaps it's a bit weird as a loop. Perhaps it would be better. Perhaps, yeah, perhaps it would be better going down. Let's just quickly, quickly finish that off. Uh, do you know, I, the strange thing is, I actually probably prefer it as a loop. I'm going to leave it as a loop. I grabbed my, grabbed my stapler and then thought, actually, no, I prefer it as a loop. Right, so I'm going to leave that like that. Okay, final one. So the final one is this one, which again, how scrummy does this look? Again, just going to glue these wings down. One, two. Oh, it's just scrumptious, isn't it? Again, go round, ink around the whole thing. This one obviously has not been subjected to the wax. So, yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. I mean, I love this tag full stop, to be honest. I just really love that napkin. It's so gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely love it. Uh, right, and then do we want to have any? trim or anything going around oh, I don't know I've got to be careful that I don't end up with this looking very Christmassy because um you know I've talked about this before once I start putting red and green together I yeah I start kind of then thinking oh it looks a bit Christmassy so I just need to be a little bit careful that I don't end up with that so I'm just going to do I think a lovely ribbon at the top so let's just get rid of that now just gonna stick this down because it's it obviously didn't get quite stuck when I was doing the decoupaging. So yeah, let's just glue that down there with the wet glue. Um I don't probably even need to put an eyelet in this to be perfectly honest, because obviously, you know, you're not really gonna see the hole. By the time it's got a bow, you know, the hole's not really gonna be visible at all. So yeah, let's just go for that. Oh, come on. Oh, 
come on. Oops. Oh, this, oh, I don't know why this is just so fiddly today. Oh, I am struggling to do this bow at all. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, what is going on with me? Right. Let's try again. Oh, this is really proving very fiddly today. It's very annoying. <laughs> oh, what is going on? Right. Not the best bow in the world, it's got to be said. Not the best bow at all. But hey, it looks okay. So I'm just going to then cut those little dovetail ends like that. And again, I'm just going to put a blob of hot glue down. But again, hopefully, you know, multiple reason or multiple use, i.e. glue the bow in place and glue the, um, you know, the bow closed if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to take that a bit shorter because it's, I mean, it's still over his face, but it's okay. It doesn't look too bad, to be honest. It's not, it's not blocking his whole face or anything like that. So yeah, I love how that looks. I don't think that probably needs anything else. Um, famous last words, obviously, as I reach, reach into my box to see what else I could put on there. Well, you know me, I just can't ever quite leave it, can I? So just bring in this word. Should we just have a word on there? Oh, let's just have a word, should we? Yep. And again, just gonna hot glue this down just for just for speed and you know. Oh my goodness, we nearly had an upside down word there. That wouldn't have been very good, would it? Definitely, then I would be wishing I'd left it. Right, okay. So that's our three tags finally finished. I know, it took a while, didn't it? Um, so I really hope that you like them. Like I say, completely not my idea. It was Gail Agostinelli's. She said it was somebody else's idea. I'm sure she did. Um, I can't remember who she said, I'm afraid. So I do apologise. Um, but Gail's was the video that I had seen. So um, yeah, I hope that you like them. I mean, they just are gorgeous. And yeah, hopefully in the new year, we could come back and do some more of these because it's a great use of your napkins. And oh my goodness, aren't they just gorgeous, yummy, scrumptious tags with obviously these little corner pockets going in here as well. So I hope that you like them. And thank you so much for watching. Hopefully see you guys again soon. Thanks then.